In this video, we'll see several examples of evaluating numerical expressions. The most important thing to keep in mind when doing this is the order of operations, which you've probably seen before, sometimes called PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. And what that stands for is parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. That's the order in which operations happen. And you'll see in the first couple of examples why that order is so important. In this expression, we have 3 plus 4 times 5. And the question is, what do we do first? We know 4 times 5 is 20, and we know 3 plus 4 is 7. But which one of those happens first? Well, that's where that order of operations comes in. Again, we're going to do parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. So in this case, what's important is that the multiplication and the division happens before the addition and the subtraction. Which means when I'm evaluating 3 plus 4 times 5, I do the multiplication first. 4 times 5 is 20. 3 plus 20 is 23. But if I change the problem slightly by adding parentheses, the result will be quite different. Again, remember our order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So the fact that parentheses come first tells us that the parentheses are the most important thing to look out for in a numerical expression. So since 3 plus 4 is inside the parentheses, that forces us to do the addition before we do the multiplication, because parentheses trumps all. So 3 plus 4 is 7, and then 7 times 5 is 35. In this expression, we have a fraction. And again, if we look at our order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Here we have a potential to be confused because we see multiplication and division on our list before addition and subtraction. But look at the way this fraction is written. The top of this fraction is 2 plus 12, and 2 plus 12 is 14. And the bottom of this fraction is 6 minus 4, and 6 minus 4 is 2. So even though multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction, because of the way the fraction is written, we can't do the division until we know what the top and the bottom of this fraction are. So in this case, our fraction is 14 divided by 2, which is 7. We also have to be very careful when we enter something like this onto our calculator. If we're not thinking carefully and we just type into our calculator 2 plus 12 divided by 6 minus 4, if we type it the way that I've written it here, the calculator knows the order of operations. And the calculator doesn't know that the top of the fraction was supposed to be 2 plus 12. The calculator is going to say, hey, division happens first. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So we get 2 plus 2 minus 4. So we would get 0. And that is not the right answer. So we have to be very careful when we write things on our calculator. If we see a, a fraction that has a complicated top and a complicated bottom, we have to go out of our way on the calculator and insert parentheses even if there weren't parentheses in the expression we were working on. So to type this on our calculator, we would have to use parentheses for both the top and the bottom in order to get the correct answer of 7. One more expression here. So we've got minus 4 to the 4th power. And again, order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. The fact that parentheses happens first means that that negative 4 is being raised to the fourth power. So we want to compare this to what we would get if we had minus 4 to the fourth power. If we didn't have those parentheses, then what that would mean is 4 to the fourth power, which happens to be 256, and so we would get minus 256. So that is not what we have here. What we have is negative 4 to the fourth power, which means negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. And when we work that out, that works out to be positive 256. So we just have to make sure that we're using our parentheses there. Again, if we were going to enter this on our calculator, we would want to make sure that we typed in minus 4 parentheses raised to the fourth power rather than minus 4 to the fourth power like that. So this is going to give us the wrong answer, 
but this expression will give us the 256 that we're looking for.